Hi guys, it's Talisha and today I'm doing a review on the Roma 10 piece grooming kit. So I've never done a review before and this is just a grooming box I got a while ago. I have it in one of my tackles if you want to go check that out. So yeah, now I got this from Horseland for $22.95 but it's normally $30 but there was a sale and so yeah. Now I don't really mind the box, it's just a bit too small but I don't really, I don't use it so I don't use it because I've got a bigger grooming box. I just use this for my grooming, I mean sorry, my washing supplies and things. So yeah. It's got a handle and it's pink and you just open it from here and then it has a top bit which you can take out which is this bit and then a bottom bit and I'll be doing this top bit first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about it and then give it a rate. So this is what the top thing looks like and I've used this kit a lot now so like I've used everything in it or most of it. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, I've used everything. Oh wait, apart from one thing, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, so the first thing at the top, I have the body sponge. Now, I don't really like the body sponge. Oh yeah, and it's been chewed by rats because I left it out and came back the next morning and it was chewed. Yeah, oops. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't like it because it just kind of, when you wipe it on the horse's body, it just kind of wipes like the water or sweat off it doesn't actually soak it up so it's not very good I don't really use it I have different sponges like I use this one for the body because it actually soaks it up and then I have these two little ones one for the face and one for the legs so I don't spread anything so yeah I don't use this it's just kind of in my box but yeah I'd probably give this a 3 out of 10 because I don't really like it so, the next thing I have in the little bit at the top is the packet of 500 black braiding bands. I have nothing wrong with these. These are amazing. I love them. I'll just take one out. They, they're like little and then you can stretch them and they go really far and then they just go, like they don't stay stretched out. I find these amazing. Oh, sorry, it's got horse hair on it because <laughs> I've used them. And I find them amazing, so I'd give them a 10 out of 10. And now, the last thing, I'm just doing these up. <laughs> last thing at the top, I have these two black, I mean, I'm sorry, they're not black. I don't, <laughs> two pink mane and tail combs. Now, these are good combs, but I don't use combs. I use this brush for the mane and tail because it does the job quicker and I just find it a lot easier and yeah. But these are good combs because they've got stiff bristles and they don't break like some other combs do. But I just feel like they take too long. I don't really use combs, so I just use brushes. So yeah, I'd still give I'd probably give these a seven out of ten. Because they're still good and they get the job done. I just think they take a bit long. And so this is what the top bit looks like. And I used to use it for, I'd put all my brushes in it and I'd carry it over to the horse so I didn't have to bring the whole box over. But then it was like really small so everything would like come out of the uh, box and stuff. I just find out. I'd find that I'd put like brushes in it and then I'd walk over and I would have like dropped two of them. So I probably give this a 5 out of 10 because it's good for just putting your stuff on it but not for carrying. Because what I use in my grooming box, which is in another tack haul, which you might want to check out, it's massive. On the top of my grooming box, it has this big black thing and it's so big. I can fit all of the brushes I normally use on it and then I can carry this over to the horses. My grooming box is really big, and if you want to see the big thing, it's like massive, you should check out my tackle. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a little pink thing over there. And this is the box without the lid. Oops. 
the cover on it. Yeah. So what I've got in this pit, sorry, bit, is my hoof pick. And it's really good. It's got the brush, the scraper, and the pick. I find this really good and it does the job really well. The only problem is, is like the plastic, like holding it, there's bit sharp bits on the plastic. And sometimes it'll like stab into you, but like it's not too bad. It still does like the work and everything. It just sometimes gets a bit annoying. Yeah, I'd probably give this a 8 out of 10. Because it's really good and it works well, it's just the sharp plastic. <laughs> yeah. So the next thing which I haven't used because I don't use hoof polish is the hoof polish container. And so I can't really say too much about this because, well, I haven't used it. But it's got this container where you put the hoof polish and then there's the brush and the lid. Now, I think this would be really handy for if you do shows because then you don't have to take the big thing, you can just take this little thing. So I think that's pretty handy. I'll probably give it a 6 out of 10 because I haven't used it, but yeah. Because it's just a good little thing to have and I don't know if the brush works or anything. It seems like it would do, so yeah. And the next thing that I have in here is the curry comb. And it's got little sparkles in it. You might be able to just see them. Yeah. And I think it works really well. The only problem I have is the size of it because it's a bit small, but it does the job really well. I love the rubber mm. plastic curry combs. They're just really good. So I think they're really good and they work really well. I would give this a 8 out of 10 just because of the size. Yeah, <laughs> but I'd say it's probably not for someone with my hand. I don't need a small hand anyway, but yeah. Now the next thing is this soft brush. Well, it says soft brush, but it's not like really soft. What I use this for is I use it for the body and legs, like as a finishing thing, and then I use it on the legs. So that's... I don't use it on the face because it's too big. I use this on the face, which is like... Because it's a good size and it's not very big. Oh, and then for a curry, like on the legs and face, I use the rubber curry. Which I think is really good. Yeah. I use this side, the soft side on it. But I'm not doing a review on them. <laughs> well, I will be doing a review, actually, on the rubber curry comb. So, yeah, look out for that. <laughs> Anyway, yes, yeah, so that's it. I would give this a 8 out of 10 just because the bristles on it, they always fray like they they fray. like with all these brushes they kind of do, but the better quality ones don't. So yeah, that's it and I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And then the second last thing that's in this is the hard brush. Now, I have a few problems with this. One, I don't really like the shape of it. I like the ones that go in, in the middle, so they're more comfortable to hold. And then, I feel like these bristles are a bit too hard. Like, you could break it in on just using your hand and doing stuff like this. So it gets a bit softer and it's not as stiff and, like, staying together like that. But with if your horse has, like, all oh, this coming off it. If your horse has more sensitive skin, I wouldn't use this because I just feel like it'd be a bit too hard. But the horses I used on, they, they're fine with it. So, yeah. I'd give this a 6 out of 10. <laughs> the last thing that is in this came in the box is the sweat scraper. Now, I haven't been able to use this too much because it's winter, so it's not like the horse has sweat much and yeah. Um, but it looks like it'd work really well. I've used it once or twice, but you don't, I haven't really needed to. I've used it a few times, but it does work really well. It The sweat comes off really easily with the rubber bit. And it's comfortable to hold. I don't really have anything wrong with it. Apart from, I do know someone that the screws they had on it went rusty. And, 
well, like, there's nothing too, like, wrong with it. Still, like, it affects the horse, but the, that's just my only problem. The screws get rusty, but that's not really a problem, so I'd still give it a 9 out of 10. And now, this is what the box looks like without everything in it in the little container. Ow. Jammed off it. And this is what it looks like with the container thing in it. Now, for this box, like, the just the box, I would give it a 5 out of 10. Because, like, it can fit all this stuff well, but if you have any extra things, it, there's, like, no room. It's very small. I don't think it's a very good size, but it's good for your, like, washing stuff. That's what I've got in it. And I've just taken this thing out and just put all my washing stuff, which could pile up to, like, the top of this. And I just put my sponges and cloth and, um, my paint and stuff and spray things all in it. So, yeah, there's nothing, like, wrong with it, just about the size. It's got a nice handle and it hasn't fallen apart, which is a plus, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably all I have to say. So, yeah, that was, it's normally $30, but I got it for $22. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And check out my channel because I am posting videos every Saturday or Sunday. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.